Give us some um, of the uh, more important uh, insights from the most recent video monetization report. Yeah, absolutely. So it's been a, a really interesting, exciting year when we look at how the industries evolve from a publisher perspective. So if you look back at our Q2 2017 video monetization report, there are a couple of key trends. So one is good news is digital video consumption is growing. I think um, video views are up 26%. But it's really interesting if you look at, at where that's coming from, because that drives a lot of the things that we're doing from a strategic perspective. So, you know, 17% year-over-year growth in full episode player content consumption, which really, I think, shows the shift of viewing that premium content to digital environments. Live sports is up 40% year-over-year. So that's, that's more people watching live sports and particularly OTT device environments. But I think the most important thing that we're seeing and the most interesting trend is the fact that now if you combined OTT device and connected TV device consumption with set-top box VOD consumption, that represents 49% of the consumption in, in Freewheel's ad, man, ad management platform ecosystem. So it's the first time that desktop was not the biggest share of market as a platform. It's really shifted to the actual television screen. So it's been what, about a year since the Sticky Ads acquisition. How are things coming together there? Yeah, so it's been a, a, a really busy year, um, but I think we're, we're very pleased with where we are now, um, being able to combine uh, Freewheel's kind of best-in-class ad management platform with programmatic capabilities through Sticky Ads SSP capabilities. So you know, one of the things I think that we ultimately were trying to accomplish that we're, we're kind of now out of market with is the ability to have a true unified decision. So historically, premium publishers have sold almost all of their inventory um, traditional IO direct sold manner, but being able to add a programmatic sales channel that can be that can sit alongside that direct sold traditional channel in a way that this ad management platform with an SSP can make a unified ad decision across any demand that that publisher has access to, whether it's IO direct sold by their sales team, programmatic direct sold by their sales team, or access to third party market demand, um, and giving publishers the, the capabilities through business rules to decide when and how they want to tap into those different demand channels. So can you give us some examples of, of how publishers are using these capabilities? Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of the things that we've seen from a publisher side is you know, now the, con the kind of unification of sales teams. So linear and digital teams going out and, and selling together. And I think one of the outcomes of that is that we're seeing a, a much bigger appetite and focus on programmatic guaranteed deals so a lot of times taking the same type of deal that would have traditionally been a paper IO, um, ad, ad server managed campaign and shifting that into programmatic pipes, but still fixed price guaranteed. And that's just for the automation and efficiencies that the programmatic side can provide there. The other thing I think that's interesting that we're seeing is that because we can now kind of safely deliver uh, programmatic execution in these premium environments, we're seeing those publishers start to use that in ways that we've never seen before. Um, so for example, we've got a number of publishers who you know, have major live sporting events and they're now starting to use progr programmatic monetization in those events. And the reality is it's a great use case for it. So if, um, if a game goes into overtime, if a series runs seven games, the ability to kind of tap into that impression by impression demand in a way that's safe and doesn't disrupt the user experience or cause sales channel conflict with direct sold ads, um, I think is a solution we'll see even more growth going forward. So how uh, would you tie this back into linear for us? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's a really interesting question that we're really focused on at, at Comcast. So it, it, as we've um, made the sticky ads acquisition and Freewheel has become more part of Comcast's advanced advertising organization, we've made the conscious decision to structure ourselves in a way that combines our linear and digital assets so from our publisher platform ad management standpoint, um, the Freewheel traditional digital ad server has been combined with our linear ad serving capabilities so that we can develop a unified ad management platform that should enable publishers to manage a single pool of impressions of premium inventory across all screens, whether that's a, you know, a desktop, mobile, OTT device, or traditional linear, and then be able to use data and sell that um, the way that they need to to drive their business. And from a markets perspective, we've done the same thing. So our programmatic solutions that work in desktop, mobile, OTT, and set-top box VOD also need to be extended to work in, in the kind of traditional linear environments.
So give us just some of your top of mind takeaways from the dialogue you've heard over the last couple of days. What are some of the key points that you'll take away? No, uh, yeah, so th this is, I think, my third beat retreat, and it's been, been fascinating as always. And so I think, you know, it seems to me like we're at a, a point where we've got a good idea of kind of what brand, brands and marketers um, are looking for as we move into kind of the next generation of, of premium video and television. It's really now a matter of execution. So I think over the next, you know, two to three year window, it's going to be the responsibility of companies like, like Comcast and Freewheel to actually deliver on what the promise of this new world is going to be. And so I think we're focused on uh, collaborating across the value chain um, from those brands, agencies, um, buy side technology partners such as DSPs, DMP partners, um, all the way through the publishers so that we can stitch this together in a way that is actually scalable um, when we'll start delivering results for the industry.